Hey, what's up, fellas? Uh, good afternoon, Coach Woody. Charles Greaves here with GoBlackKnights.com. How are you doing? Good. All right. Um, can you walk us through uh, today's practice relative to, to the defensive side of the ball? <clears throat> Did a good job of uh, coming out and and, uh, and getting better. I thought. You know, we look at uh, uh, at the last ball game, and and what you want to do after uh, after any ball game is is gather as much information as you can. Use it to uh, to come out and get better. And if uh, if you do that every week, then uh, then you're, you're you're traveling in the right direction. So uh, so I think guys uh, came out uh, you know today and and uh, you know performed well. I thought uh, thought they got after it really good. Do we need to make uh, you know do we need to get better? Yes. And and each rep that that we take, we're uh, we're working on it as, as good as we can, and um, uh, we'll continue to do that and. As uh, as we get more reps in practice and in games, we'll uh, we'll continue to get better because this is a team that that uh, uh, it's important to. You know, it's not uh, it's not one of those deals where uh, they come out and just go through the motions. They do it with a lot a lot of, a lot of effort and and uh, uh, emotion, and they care for one another. And uh, uh, so I liked uh, I liked the way practice went today. Fantastic, and and to some degree, or at least uh, from an athletic point of view, and even their offensive line, offensively speaking, the road runners are similar to Coastal Carolina from my perspective. Uh, what must you get out of the D-line, your D-line, in order to be competitive on Saturday? And can you share with us, uh, you know, who uh, you expect to kind of be your, your one or two deep, if you will? Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, – I don't know if the offensive line is, is, is like Coastal as far as what, uh, what they do and, and, uh, and how well they do it. I think – I think Coastal is has got uh, uh, you know some guys that that uh, you know understand option principles and and, and play with that a little bit uh, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I, I think I think a little bit a little bit of zone and, and uh, gap scheme is is what we'll see out of out of uh, uh, you know UTSA but in the passing game you know, I, I think you'll. I think you're going to see a, a whole lot of uh, receiver screens, and 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 then you'll see a, a lot of balls thrown down the field. And uh, uh, you know, there weren't a ton of balls thrown way down the field in our last ball game. So from a pass, uh, you know, a pass rush standpoint, you got an opportunity to get to the quarterback. And the last time we played him, you know, we got to the quarterback, but he did a great job of scrambling and and avoiding the rush and and getting some uh, some yards from a scramble situation. So that's got to be something that, uh, you know, still got to get to the quarterback, still got to get him uncomfortable, but we got to do a better job of, of uh, you know, containing him and keeping him, uh, you know, from getting the extra yards on a play. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Sure. Hey, Coach. Hey, Coach how are you? Good. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, can you um... – how would you evaluate Andre Carter's game against Coastal Carolina and um, how they were uh, blocking him, so to speak? Well, I don't know that they really ran at uh, at Andre, you know, a whole lot. I think uh, early in the ball game, he did a really nice job of, of uh, you know, affecting a pass, you know, to the sideline, you know, somewhat. And and uh, and I thought, you know, as the game uh, as the game wore on. You know, he did a really nice job of, of playing within himself. And, uh, and when he had his opportunities to rush the passer, which wasn't very much, you know, wasn't, uh, wasn't much at all. But uh, when he did, I thought, uh, I thought he performed well. Yeah. You know? um, not all the time are, are you going to get, uh, you know, a sack or, or multiple sacks in ball games. And I think Coastal does a good job of, of uh, you know, running the football and, and then doing some things from a max protection. Um, and then there was, you know, not many opportunities where he got a one-on-one -on -one against a, uh, a lineman and the ball wasn't coming out fast. So I yeah. liked, uh, I liked what he did. I liked how he performed. Uh, one question about, uh, the nose tackle position. Did anybody separate themselves in the first game or do you anticipate going with more of a rotation against, uh, Texas Antone? I think we'll continue to, to rotate guys, but um, but I, I really liked uh, Darius Richardson in, in the ball game. I thought uh, I thought he stepped up and, and did some things in, in that ball game that that uh, uh, 
you know, showed why he was, uh, uh, you know, in the two deep for us uh, last season. So really liked, uh, liked him. And you know, I still got uh, you know, a guy that, that we didn't get into the ball game that, that eventually we will, Jacob Teodi. Uh, just uh, uh, he continues to impress me in, in practice, but, uh, but still, you know, still learning the position just a little bit. But he's got an awful lot of promise. And then Isaiah Felici, you know, probably got more uh, snaps than uh, than he's had, you know, the whole the whole time he's been uh, been here, you know, in that one game. Um, you know, and we just uh, we'll, we'll continue to rotate. You know, I think uh, Komarowski did some good things in that game, and and some things that uh, that he could have done just a little bit better. So we'll uh, we'll be all right. Thanks. Sure. Hey, Coach Ken Kreitzer with Cam Vets Media. Good to see you. Uh, just on uh, Saturday's game, uh, you had to face a lot of running plays, 53, gave up 263 in yardage. Uh, how did you feel your inside linebackers did? Uh, some some young players, Leo 11 out of 11 tackles. Uh, how did you feel like your, your inside linebackers, inside defense uh, held up? Well, if we gave up 263 yards, we probably didn't hold up very well. But I don't I – don't... I don't know that you can say it was, uh, you know, just the linebackers or, or just the defensive line or, or, or whether it was the outside linebackers or whether it was a safety that was supposed to fit. There's a lot of different uh, components on each play that have to go right. And, uh, you know, one time it, it, it might have been a, a, you know, an interior lineman. You know, the next time it might have been an inside backer. The time, I, you know, and then the next play it might be an outside linebacker. And the next time might be a safety. So, uh, you know, all those guys have got to do their job when it when it comes time. And uh, and then also, you you know, I, I got to do a little bit better job of helping them and, and giving them some uh, some defensive calls that uh, that they can execute a little bit better. So, I think, uh, you know, like I said, today's practice looked uh, like looked pretty good, but. Coastal Carolina was uh, was a team that that uh, you know they averaged an awful lot of points and uh, usually I think last year they probably averaged uh, without looking at it you know probably close to 500 yards of offense so um, I'm not happy about uh, about losing that ball game I'm not happy about uh, giving up the yardage that we did or the scores that we did but if you go back and and piece this together we had opportunities you know, to, uh, to win this ball game. And, you know, just, uh, you know, didn't quite make a play here or there. And sometimes the, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, just went against us and, and um, we'll have to do a little bit better next time. But that was a, that was a quality, quality opponent. And looking at Texas, San Antonio, uh, I guess you got to start with a very experienced quarterback and Frank Harris had a big game against Houston. Uh, 28 of 43, 337 yards, three touchdowns. He even ran for one touchdown. What are your thoughts on Frank Harris? He's faced Army before. Yeah, uh, Frank came in in the fourth quarter against us the last time we played him, and I thought uh, I thought we might see him. You know, the the uh, in 20, I thought we'd see him earlier than we did, but uh, but when he did come in, he he was uh, uh, you know. He's just a guy that that that, that moves fast and, and can throw the football. He can throw with some accuracy. Uh, he can throw the short one. He can throw the long one. And uh, and when things break down, he can uh, he can take it a long way with it. He's he's explosive. So this will be the second uh, second game in a row where we play a quarterback that that I have an awful lot of respect for. But uh, you know, I, I I've got respect for uh, for our players as well. And we're looking forward to uh, to going against him. You're right; he's got a lot of experience. You know, he's been he's been around there for a long time. Maybe uh, what is it, six years? You know. Yeah. So, you know, that's I don't think we got anybody here that, uh, that that's been here for six years. You know, that, at least that plays. You know, in a uniform. So, um, but uh, but he still moves good. He moves really good. So, I'm looking forward to the opportunity, and our players are as well. Uh, their offensive line really stands out for their size. Uh, the center, 325, uh, right guard, 335. Haynes, the left guard, 340. Left tackle, Tatafu, is 335. That's like a Big Ten-sized offensive line. How do, you, how do you deal with that? Well, I think just because you're big doesn't make you good. And uh, you may be long, 
and and have a lot of weight. But if you don't move your feet, uh, then then a pass rush is is uh, I mean it's easy to win. Um, yeah, and then I think uh, uh, the last time that we played against them, I think they had some guys that that uh, uh, that we're going to see again. Yeah, but but maybe they were uh, you know, a little bit more inexperienced the last time we played them. And uh, and we still thought got some pressure on the quarterback at times. It's just uh, once we did get to the quarterback, he was able to elude us and and uh, and scramble for uh, for a lot of yards. And uh, yeah, so the size, you know, the size of the offensive lineman, you know, is uh, as good as far as the the, the power rush, but uh, but the finesse part of it is 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 something that uh, yeah. May work the size may work against them a little bit. And on their chart, they look they look like a spread offense team with three wide receivers, just one running back, and they list a big fullback, uh, Cardenas, uh, two eighty five. Um, they pass they're passing over three hundred yards a game, only about a, a little over a hundred yards rushing. Uh, how do you, what is it like preparing for a spread pass oriented offense? Well, nowadays I don't I don't think uh, you know when I first started my career as a coach. 300 yard uh, passing games would get you fired, you know. Um, now it's it's so common, you know. That's teams are throwing it, uh, you know, 45, 50 times a game, you know, every game, and and uh, and a lot of those passes may be screens that uh, that that travel, you know, from you know no more than uh, three or four yards past the line of scrimmage, or sometimes behind the line of scrimmage. So easy to to uh, to complete those balls. But if they don't, uh, if they don't go very far down the field, then uh, then you give yourself a chance to win. So just uh, staying on top of uh, you know those routes and uh, and then doing a good job of of tackling and pursuit, I think will, will give us a uh, you know really good opportunity to win. Thanks, Coach. Sure. All right. Thanks.